Hey there YouTube, Superbrain AK here. And well you might yeah, slightly recognize this board. Kinda has a little constant current um with an LM317 circuit there. And then what else does it have? It's got looks like three capacitors there. Same twelve volt go into that monitor power supply um, power supply is 12 volt 5 amp um, yeah goes to a 7805 over here to one of my little um, what you call it circuits uh, PWM dimmer touch control modules it was like five nine eight or something eight pin chip um so that's making a pulse width which is then gosh that's terrible going out to that little mosfet mm, i don't know the mosfet but it's just standard end channel and then it's going out to four different red wires there's also four different red wires on the 12 volts there. And then these four red wires here go on that capacitor on the negative side and goes out to here, which is my little 3 amp um, 30 volt panel meter, current voltage meter. So that's measuring the voltage there and that's measuring the current there and the voltage there is on that yellow on the end of the board so and then obviously the ground of the current is coming back to 12 volt ground so what am I powering that's drawing 200 milliamps well yep, yep. 420 millimeter fox cones. There's the model number there. Oh yeah, 120 millimeter, 38 millimeter th thick, um, 0.9 amps, like 5,000 RPM. Um, yeah. And I have them secured by little twisty ties if you can see right there but yeah I'm going to put this in my rear window of the house and hopefully get some high pressure to move air throughout because turn it up a little bit amps versus 30 amps that was not good bad 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 I think it's fine <laughs> it's okay it was just hitting the... Is there crap all over the camera now? That's fine. It's just the light. This is really bright. Um, okay, well, let's not have that happen. My rear window does have a screen and they'll be facing that, so... It, nothing can get in it. Um, but, yeah. Minus that. So what was that? 12 volt, 1.5 amps, not even for a fair bit of wind, versus the, what, 20 maybe amps of an air conditioning unit. So whenever it gets cold out, which it's probably going to in, mm -hmm. Uh, well, I guess it's not going to be that cold. 
focus 73 at 10 uh yeah so yeah i figured i'd make this up and we'll see how well it works and just open the other windows and put this in it i might either add something blanking on the top because these aren't obviously as tall as a big window um take was it 90 so 12 times 4 uh 48 I almost need twice eight fans Six. I might be able to fit seven because it's not 80, milli 80 millimeters tall. It's like 100 and, or like 90. Wait. 12 times 7, 84. Yeah, I might be able to fit seven. And those are four. So I'm going to test it and see how much pressure I get but yeah I might add a blanking so it doesn't the air doesn't go around up and around but yeah so yeah that's gonna be fun I'm gonna test it and see um, what else is going on I am getting some power distribution boards from my four from um, quadcopters you know how they have might have multiple ESC's powering each motor or multiple ESC's for each motor off of one battery so the battery goes in and goes to the distribution board which is basically a PCB with thick traces and a bunch of big holes so I'm going to do that to hook up all my networking gear so I can use one power supply which will most likely be this guy here got one of the odd it's like a 24 pin it's like the two sides of a 24 pin um 20 pin 24 pin um cpu connector motherboard connector it's the same as an 8 pin motherboard connector or cpu power but the top row is flipped with the bottom row, so it's not exactly compatible. But it is with a 24-pin connector. But seeing how I had another similar one from a big power supply, and if you could see it there, a really old like two or three U power edge server and that has that connector with the shroud kind of and one side of it works just fine so yeah I'm gonna connect that up and get all my networking gear my let's see modem switch well modem router which has a four port gigabit switch and a um, 2.4 5 gigahertz um, Wi-Fi antennas in it and um, yeah so router and access point basically um, and then I'm going to be adding another computer so I need one more port so I need to put in a little 10100 switch because my laptop and my UMA, the 
internet IP telephone which costs only tax to run um, that will be on the 10100 and yeah I'll be powering the UMA off of the 12 volts as well with a buck converter because it's 5 volts so I'm going to be playing with some little buck converter modules I have more in here from the servers this is like a two phase okay and most of these are but this is a single phase It's like four or six microhenries. I don't know why it has two 16 pin chips. That's kind of crazy for something just so small and simple. But oh well, I'll be testing with it. I also have this one. But yeah, these ones are super high frequency, so you have to, have to have solid capacitors like soldered directly to it because I was trying with some alligator leads to big electrolytics and no that wasn't gonna happen they would just either give no output at all or um, make a lot of heat because none of the energy that it's switching is being stored because they're just switching so fast so yeah that's it and the reason why I'm putting them all on one 12 volt source is one to hopefully save some power with having four from having four switch mode power supplies to one bigger one which is capable of more amperage or just being higher efficiency um, and I will be able to easily back it up with a laptop battery just a double diode with the two sides pointing inwards to the center the center is the output and the two sides is the 12 volts and that side's the battery so when one's lower than the other say the AC dies then it'll run off the battery and then it won't run off of the battery when the um, 12 volts is back. I just can't charge the batteries fully, but that's a good thing because you don't want to keep a lithium ion battery stored or charged completely. And it'll drop down to, I probably have it switch off at 10, which I don't know how I'm going to do yet, but I'll just keep an eye on it if we are out of power. Um, I might make some sort of p-channel MOSFET that cuts it out at a voltage or I just use a um, battery monitoring circuit and yeah but yeah it will go down to 10 and that's fine because all the other circuits in the devices that I'm powering have buck converter modules Probably the modem has a boost converter module because it's cable, but it'll be fine on 10, I'm pretty sure. And then the buck converter for the UMA going to 5 would be just fine as well because it's 10 to 5 instead of 12 to 5. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see how this goes. And, yeah. Thanks for watching. See ya.